Well, did you have problems with Balcom today? Your internet wouldn't work? Hi, I'm Rich and I really had a problem. I'm going to post the website for the Balcom, but I'm going to tell you how to do it, how to fix it on, and show you how to fix it on your Windows 8, 8.1. Hopefully this will help. They had a, a software renewal or whatever it was, and it just flipped off the whole network on on mine, my access to my cell phone and other things, uh, laptop, wouldn't work. And I'm going to show you as far as Windows 8. Also, I'm going to post down on the bottom where it says description, the link to the fix on what to do, uh, the settings. I'm just going to show, sort of, uh, show you a run on this. Thanks for watching and uh, hope this helps you out. I, as far as to questions, talk to your internet service. I cannot really answer anything. I'm just telling you how I found out. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. You should turn off your computer and unplug the power to your modem and router. Once you've done that, you t should take the wire that goes to your computer from your router and disconnect it. And then the cable from your modem that went to your router, collect it, connect it to your computer directly. Once you plug the modem into your computer, plug the power into your modem, turn on your computer, you may or may not have internet service. Make sure your lights are flashing and everything. If they still not working, if it's still not working after about five minutes, you might have to call your internet service provider and they will have to reset your modem from there. Don't ask me how that works, but that's what I had to do. Once you get there and you got your modem working, click your settings, go to your control panels, then click on network sharing See where it says net, internet and now networks and internet. Oh, sorry, I'm going too fast. Now network sharing. And once you click there, over on the right of the connection, it says on mine, it says Ethernet. Once you click that, then click properties on this little tab. And once you hit properties, it goes to this thing and it says select internet protocol. You have to scroll down. Version 4, TCP, IP, IPv4, version 4. And when you click that, you'll come up with this. And at the very bottom, you have to put these numbers in, like the preferred, or I think it says first, or something preferred. And you have to put your cursor in each one. Put 8, and then move your cursor over and click that. Push 8, 8. Eight, and then the next one you put 8844 and hit OK. Once you've done that, you hit OK. You shut down your computer, turn it off, and then you go back to your wiring. Once your computer's turned off, unplug your power to your modem, unplug your power to your router. Then remove the plug to your computer that goes to your modem and plug that into your router. And from the router, the wire that goes to your router, plug it into your to your computer. And I have a telephone call. Isn't this a terrible time? Now you can plug your modem, the power, the modem and the router power plugs in. And turn on your computer. It may take five minutes for all your lights to start blinking on your modem and your router and once it does you might have to wait five minutes turn your power on your computer and you should have internet now that's all I know it worked for me I hope it works for you good luck thanks for watching